Hi, today I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about the three universal fears. And uh, these fears really uh, inhibit us and stop us from living our true destiny and living our divinity. And divinity here is defined as the ability to transcend perceived human limitations. And so what we want to ultimately do always is to access our divinity. And the way we access our divinity is uh, really taking out the conditioning, the program, the things that are not. You see, divinity always lies within us. We are divine beings. And we can transcend perceived human limitations. Uh, the problem is that um, there's kind of like, a, think of teeth, right? Um, when you brush your teeth, you've got beautiful white pearly teeth below. Uh, but if you have plaque, that plaque is going to be um, covering the beautiful teeth, right? And it's going to be affecting your smile. So the same thing too is um, these programming and conditioning of fear is like plaque that really inhibits us from being able to shine. So what we wanna do on a daily basis, continue to brush out that plaque, brush away the fears that uh, blocks us from our divinity. And again, divinity being uh, the ability to transcend perceived human limitations. So uh, my name is Yvonne and welcome to my channel. And this channel is all about personal development and growth and really being the best version of ourselves. Uh, so if you want to be the best version of yourself, uh, click on the link below to subscribe to this channel and be a part of the community. So the first fear I wanted to talk to you about is the fear of separation or abandonment. And this, again, is a universal fear. Um, and it's the sense that we're alone, that um, we don't have... Uh, you know that purpose and, and really striving to seek that sense of belonging and purpose and so um, this fear of separation really if you think about it um, is pretty innate in us think of a child that's maybe uh, left alone for for a little while maybe a mom is um, you know maybe it happens to me where I'm in the kitchen um, getting some stuff together and then um, you know my child will cry right because they feel alone um, and so as an adult, this shows up. How does this show up? How is this uh, fear expressed as an adult? Well, a lot of times it's expressed as uh, staying in a job longer than you know you should or want to. Staying in a toxic job and work environment um, that you know is not good for you, but you fear that separation. And there's a part of you that's just afraid to leave. And you'll um, cook up good excuses like oh they've, they've got great benefits or um I, I don't think i'll ever find another job similar to this so uh you cook up different uh, reasons to rationalize your staying in a toxic job environment also too if you uh, find yourself in a relationship that's toxic but you stay uh, and you're so fearful for the breakup of that relationship even though you know deep down it's not good for you that is uh, that's, an, that's an expression of fear of abandonment and separation. So here's an affirmation that I'd like to share with you that has helped me uh, overcome this particular fear. And uh, that affirmation is, I am safe and secure. Go ahead and repeat that with me. I am safe and secure. I am safe and secure i am safe and secure and when you repeat that and really affirm that and embody that you know that there's nothing to be afraid of this affirmation i use a lot and i'll finish it up by saying i am safe and secure because i am one with god okay and that really supports me uh, because there's no need to fear you are being held, okay, by the greatest almighty power, okay, in you and around you. Think about it. Let's talk a little bit about divinity and uh, your divinity. Uh, at the end of the day, we're all energy, right? We are all energy, and uh, that's shown in quantum physics, right? So our building blocks, think of our building blocks. 
at the end of the day, our lowest uh, common denominator is an atom. An atom is made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And uh, Newtonian physics, or the old physics, saw these as particles, as material. That was the, the time of materialism. Now we're understanding from quantum physics that um, all of these are not particles, they're actually resonant waves. They are waves. And so that helps us understand that uh, the fundamental of the building blocks is energy. So we, you see a, a material human being, a material body, but our building blocks is energy, okay? And that's the energy that is all in the universe. That's the same energy of creation. That's the same energy all that, that um, allows these rocks uh, to exist, right? The, the lowest uh, common denominator on these rocks behind me also are atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons, and the lowest level is energy. So we share this common um, fabric, okay? And so I want you to really think about that. What that can mean for you is knowing that you're truly divine um, and that you can tap into that energy uh, to be able to really achieve your highest potential. So the second fear that I wanted to share with you is fear of uh, not being enough or this lack of self-worth. And I see that more and more these days is this lack of feeling um, uh, good enough. And how do you see that expressed? I see that expressed a lot in social media um, where people are trying to be someone that they're not and they're, they're not maintaining their sense of uh, originality and their sense of authenticity. In fact, even their beauty standards are compared to someone else and someone else's perception of beauty. And so they will um, go under the knife uh, to completely uh, cut into themselves uh, so that they can uh, be able to emulate someone else's perception and ideal of beauty. And that's very painful to see because in these minds, they don't see the, they don't see it that way. They think it's their decision, but that's truly not the case because all we can do, all you and I can do is strive to be the best version of ourselves. And if you're giving the best, if you're being honest with yourself and doing the absolute best you can, you can't do more than that. Okay. Um, and so if you want to change yourself, then you're essentially comparing yourself to someone else. And that's not being authentic. You wanna be authentically you and be the best version of yourself and not try to emulate someone else's definition uh, of beauty and see, uh, or someone else's definition of what you should be doing with your life. Really um, meditate and think about what it is that you're being called to do. Uh, and be true to yourself, okay? be true to yourself. Uh, and go ahead and strive uh, to, to be honest and authentic uh, because that way Roy, we're able to get above this fear, this fear of uh, not feeling like enough and uh, a lack of self-worth. So how does this fear, how is this fear expressed? Well, it's, it's expressed by maybe applying to positions and, and, and jobs that um, you feel that you are worthy of. Um, and if you have a low self-esteem, then um, you're going to be maybe uh, potentially in situations, in jobs and even relationships that um, are reflective of your low self-worth, of your low self-esteem. So, you know, your environment is a mirror. It's really a mirror of what is inside of you. So look around you. Around you at your work environment look around you at your relationships look around you uh, at your romantic relationships at your friends is that reflective of who you truly are um, if this if that is less than uh, what you then what you know to be true then there's an opportunity to work uh, inside and heal uh, heal our self-esteem and understand that we are all worthy. We are definitely all worthy of the best. And if you're in a situation where maybe you're um, applying to jobs or, or in a job situation that you know is not good for you, deep in your heart, then 
Start within. Start with healing this fear of not feeling worthy and not feeling good enough. And work on your self-esteem. And as you work inside of yourself, in your heart, then slowly but surely the outside changes and shifts and you'll see yourself being attracted to bigger and better things naturally because then you will feel worthy of it. And so one affirmation that I wanna share with you that's worked for me to overcome this particular fear, this plaque, um, that's really affecting and blocking uh, our divinity is uh, I am enough, okay? I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. Okay. And so this affirmation is really, really helpful. Um, and it's really um, important for us to feel that we are worthy and the, that we are good enough because we are, because you are. Okay. And maybe there's programming or conditioning that has told you otherwise. And it's an opportunity for you to brush that away so that you can polish yourself and really shine and that your divinity, uh, your ability to transcend perceived human limitations um, is being able to be fully expressed, your potential fully expressed. Now, the third fear is trust and surrender, okay? The fear of, of fully trusting and fully surrendering. And what do I mean by that? Well. There can be a certain level of apprehension to fully trust in life and the process of life that everything is going to be okay in the end, okay? Um, you know, your soul wants to feel complete, okay? And it's going to continue to seek experiences so that it does uh, get that sense of completion. And so, one affirmation that has helped me is uh, I trust the process of life. I trust the process of life. I trust the process of life. Okay? And know that you are being held in every situation. There is no challenge uh, that you can't overcome and your ability to get through that challenge will only make you stronger, okay? And so I wanted to um, finish this with a, a fun little exercise that I learned this weekend. I actually went to uh, this place in Sedona. It's a beautiful retreat, it's called Sedona Mago. And uh, they do a lot of Qigong and um, tapping and it's just a retreat to be able to uh, really have introspection and allow us to again remove those fears remove that plaque that blocks us and so this is um, an exercise that helps us to circulate our energy and really stimulate energy so that we um, are more clear inside and so it's called tapping and this exercise if you you want to do it with me here um, we're going to be tapping um, these areas um, you know the areas that really flow energy in our body, okay? So we're gonna start with our head, then our forehead, then our temple, our jaw area, our throat, okay? Um, our heart center, and then our solar plexus, which is um, right in the rib cage, um, and then our uh, sacral, which is our abdomen. So maybe, uh, let me go ahead and move camera so that you can see me fully. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so we're going to start this tapping exercise. And again, it helps with uh, circulation It helps us clear our minds. Um, and it's really uh, something good that helps us um, to just feel clear. Um, it only takes about maybe less than five minutes. So we're going to want to start with tapping our head. Okay, this is uh, known as the root. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> the crown. Uh, Tapping our crown, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. So I want you to, as you're tapping, focus on your breath. Try to make the uh, inhale four counts, the exhale six counts. 
um, I'm opening my eyes for the sake of the video, but you're going to want to keep your eyes closed. Then you're going to want to tap your uh, forehead. Okay, so this helps us to really feel calm and centered. Again, deep breath in and deep breath out. Exhale on six, deep breath in, inhale on four. Exhale on six. I like to do three deep breaths for each point. The next one is our temple. Once you start tapping, again, breathe with me. Once you start tapping on your temple, you're gonna definitely feel this sense of deep relaxation. Breathe in, four, breathe out, six, breathe in, four, breathe out, six. You're gonna to do three breaths on this one. And then your jaw, start tapping our jaw. A lot of times uh, we hold our emotions, especially uh, stress, anger. Uh, we, we clench our jaws. Um, and I, I, I know I personally developed TMJ because of the stress. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Remember, we, uh, inhale on four, exhale six, and you're gonna wanna do deep breaths in and out three times for each uh, point. And now your throat. Okay. Your throat, a lot of times we hold our emotions um, particularly us women where we don't feel heard we don't feel understood and we might have to uh, even in our jobs or relationships hold uh, our voice right not say what we really want to say and we hold it in and so that creates a block here on our throat a throat a point And then here, going down to our heart. Our heart area, our, our heart center, a lot of times in our life, uh, we have experiences that hurt us, that create pain in our heart. And so we create a wall, what's called a heart wall. I know I developed that when I was going through uh, energy psychology, it's like K. Um, meetings uh, or sessions rather she said you know uh, you've got a heart wall so because when I was experiencing pain in my life I'd lock it in my heart okay um, and that was expressed and it was clear uh, through just a sense of agitation um, I was just agitated and anxious um, and not able to truly open my heart when I would uh, enter into new romantic relationships so we want to make sure that our heart is open. Okay, so I hope you breathe, breathe through that. Okay. Now the next point is our solar plexus and our solar plexus is in between our rib cages. So this one, we actually want to use our fist because we want to make sure that the energy um, is circulated. So again, breathe in. That's the solar plexus. Sorry. And then the sacral. Okay. Again, this is new uh, stuff that I learned and I'm, I'm so excited to share with you. So forgive me if I look at my notes, but this is the, uh, the sacral. Oops. And what you want to do is tap between the belly button, like right below the belly button. And so you're kind of pounding like that. Okay, I hope you see that. And so you're doing three breathe breaths. Okay, and then, um, and I know for some of you, you might say, okay, well, how about the root chakra? Well, this exercise when you're... Um, taking care of this portion and you're tapping this area uh, it's also um, helping with the root chakra to be able to get more uh, of uh, a deeper expression or a deeper um, uh, support you can 
tighten that, that root chakra and then that helps um, when you're tapping um, that, that point. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you. It's uh, really helped me in my journey uh, of healing. Um, and again, it's called tapping and it really helps with just having our um, energy flow and circulation. It helps us stay focused, more clear of mind, and ultimately that helps with our performance. Uh, and again, as you're tapping uh, these points, uh, you're focusing on your breath. So you wanna take three nice deep breaths. Um, inhale uh, on four counts, exhale six counts. Um, and again, that's on your um, crown, your forehead, your temple, your jaw, your heart, your um, this area here, okay, in between your rib cage. <sighs> this area here between your rib cage is called the solar plexus, and then this area below your belly button it's called your solar plexus. Okay, so pretty cool, pretty neat, something that I learned here this week in Sedona, and I wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm actually heading back home uh, to South Florida today. I'm uh, getting on the flight, super excited. It's about six o'clock in the morning. I really wanted to enjoy this view. Uh, it's just gorgeous here. Let me share with you. Um, it's just beautiful, beautiful area here. And this is in the heart of Sedona. And I uh, just wanna tell you that I love you and I'm praying for you that you continue on your journey uh, for health, healing, and again, being the absolute best version of yourself. Um, actually, I have my Money Mastery program that I share not just on the financial literacy, but also the money psychology. And that's 80% of our success in abundance and wealth, is making sure that the behaviors and habits that we have um, are going to support us and that's a lot of exercises on the inner work similar to what I just talked through um, all of these limiting beliefs all of these fears that block our highest divinity and again divinity being um, the ability tra to transcend perceived human limitations so I encourage you uh, to click on the link in the description box below to enroll with my money mastery program because we're going to go in and we're going to do the inner work to help release and heal and allows you to truly uh, build wealth and abundance in your life because that is your birthright okay oceans of love until next time and i'll see you in south florida on the next video oceans of love thank you